It's an afternoon treat Almost. at the Rainey household. Look at all the sprinkles. Baking cupcakes during a play date okay. with friends. Put in the cake batter, the water, oil, and eggs. Need some help? The mixture <laughs> marketed to kids is filled with colored sprinkles. The is only so long. Dyes and a bunch of other food additives. <laughs> These ingredients and the effects on child health is what this pediatrician has been looking into. You know, children are not little adults. They have developing brains and developing organ systems, and if you affect those at very early ages, it can have lifelong consequences. Her report, published in the journal Pediatrics, shows, among other things, the harmful effects of food coloring, which has increased five-fold in American food products over the past six decades. Yellow, green. The report lists food coloring may be associated with worsened ADHD and studies cited say those children who cut synthetic food coloring showed decreased ADHD symptoms. Scoop. Even though a developing child's health is the most susceptible to adverse effects of food additives, adults are also at risk when consuming meat containing nitrites and nitrates. Yeah, even the endocrine disrupting chemicals, they've been associated with things like endometriosis or testicular cancer. I can tell they're already not ready. They need a couple more minutes. At the Rainey's, mom Rebecca says she's as vigilant as she can be. And as a mom, I think it really just makes me almost more upset that companies are allowed to put all that in the food for kids and, and us. But the report doesn't just cover what's in your food, but also what's around your food. Bisphenols, better known as BPA, used in metal linings of cans for foods like tomatoes, can act like estrogen in the body, potentially changing the timing of puberty, decreasing fertility, increasing obesity, and affecting the immune system. More and more companies are banning BPA from products. The easiest thing to do is to transfer your food from plastic to uh, ceramic or glass container and then put it in the microwave. As long as you're not heating up the plastic. You're heating the plastics lets those loosely bound chemicals seep into your food. For Rainy, that's a switch she's slowly making. I had to switch a lot of it over to glass. You know, I mean, we've got the glass bowls and stuff like that that we store in, but, um, you know, definitely have, like, the plastic containers, too. It's these small changes that can make big impacts on health. I wish I had a little more time to make everything fresh and not have to uh, <laughs> rely on so much store-bought, but life is just so busy with kids on the run. No, we got, like, Easter colors. But even the doctors say colored cupcakes. I got green and blue once in a while is just fine well you can add some more yellow oh so of course kids